Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll talk about composition of waste water. So let's get started. So we'll start off with the physical parameters which describes the physical characteristics. So the physical characteristics of water responds to senses of sight, touch, taste or smell. So some of the physical parameters are here which are solids, which can be organic sewage waste or which can be inorganic clay or silt. So we have turbidity, we have conductivity, we have pH, we have color, order, taste and temperature. So some of the parameters we are already aware of and some are new terms. So moving with that, so talking about the solids. So these are organic particles and as well as these are inorganic particles. So we are used or we are used to seeing both the particles in our day to day lives. So some of the organic particles which form the major fraction found in wastewater and these are biological solids which can be algal cells, bacteria, plant fiber which are more common in wastewater. Also talking about inorganic particles which forms the minor fraction found in water. So these originates from clay, silt and soil. Also these are constituents which are common in surface water. So we generally see them in surface water. Moving with that. So talking about different types of wastewater and different nature of solids that exist in them. So talking about the domestic wastewater. So the domestic wastewater contains large quantity of organic suspended solids. Whereas industrial wastewater contains impurities that are both organic and inorganic suspended solids whereas immiscible liquids such as oil and grease are present in wastewater. So these are very simple. So the domestic wastewater contains large amount of organic suspended solids which can be bacteria, algal cells and different types of uh, insects and other cells as well. So talking about the industrial wastewater which contains impurities that are that includes both organic and inorganic and whereas immiscible liquids are concerned which will contain the greasy material which which are lighter than water so that floats on the water such as oil grease in wastewater. So moving with that so talking about the composition of diff, uh, domestic sewage. So the composition of domestic sewage lays a very important foundation in the composition of wastewater. So the domestic sewage consists of 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% of solid. The suspended solids or you can say. So the 99.9% .9 is not pure water, absolutely. So it is combined with 0.1% of solids. So the impurity level is quite high and talking about the solids which are present in uh, domestic sewage so out of the uh, total 0.1 percent solid the 70 percent of them are organic whereas 30 percent of them are inorganic so uh, in organic we have proteins from animals plants and different organisms we have carbohydrates such as starch glucose cellulose we have fats we have amino acids, we have vitamins and for inorganics we already know with, uh, which are grit, so, grit, salt, metals which are available in surface wastewater, surface water pardon. So these are this forms the major composition of domestic sewage. So the most of it or almost the entire part is water which is 99.9% whereas 0.1% consists of the uh, suspended solids which is present which can be organic as well as inorganic so moving with the last part which is the solids so the solids can be of three forms which can be suspended colloidal or dissolved so there are three forms you can see suspended colloidal and dissolved depending on the size of the particle so you have a scale underneath so you can see the scale here which defines these three different types of forms of solid so suspended you can see which ranges from 10 to the power of minus 3 to 10 to the power of minus 1 which are settleable then we have colloidal which is non settleable along with dissolved so which ranges according to their size also talking about settleable and non settleable and filterable and non filterable 
so depending on the size suspended are non filterable whereas uh, the dissolved and colloidal which are very small in size are filterable and the bigger particles obviously don't filter and the smaller particles kind of gets filtered and talking about the volatility and non volatility so the volatility are mainly organic fractions the organic uh, waste which can be fats carbohydrates and all of that we studied and the non volatile are mainly the inorganic fractions which are the salt metals or anything which is uh, bigger in size you can say or stones you can say so these are non volatile in nature so let us keep this video till here hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching